すごいなさっき一回消えたよね、うん、あ天気がない。いや増えてってる。ほ、増えた。ね、おわか、電子、死に増えてる。お父さん、左側が三つな。うん、三、うん、つなってるやつなんだ。そろそろここ来るんじゃない。お父さん、カメラ交代してもらっていい。カメラ？寒い。<笑>ちょちょちょちょ。あっちの一つ下にもう一個あるよ。うん。あ、また近づいていってる。うん。さっきみたいに消えるかな。なんでこれ。あ、そこ上から来た。すごい。すごいね。増えた増えた。増えた増えた。うん。あ、これはスクープ。一二三四五六七八九九対。違うよ。一二三四五六七八九十十一十一じゃなくて。よく見たら光が。三二五六七八九十十一。あ、消えた。今度は県庁の上に映ってる。すごいびっくり、なんだろうあれ。あのさ、さっきは老人の上だったわけよ。いや、これ見たことがない。ユーフォーかもな。今ちょうど映してるよ。嘘でしょ。だからさ、だからよ。県庁の上に来た。飛行機飛ぶよ何だろう。動いてない。何。テレビ局に電話してるの。天気が不思議だね。落ちた。落ちた。God, there's a there's something purple. It was green. My wife saw it green, and now it's purple. We do not know what it is. Look at the sky over there. I kid you not, right, babe? Yeah. It was green, and it came straight down. We thought it was a meteor. Look, it's purple. 
Now it's green. It's green and going straight up. Just let this look. Now it's hovering. Don't say nothing. Let's just record. Oh, it's descending at an extremely alarming rate of speed. That is. Get my bearings here. This is really startling. Um, and it went out. Oh, it's purple again. That's uh, man. I'm, Rattle. It's, it's northwest. Went behind the tree. Look at it. Now it turned green again. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <gasps> it's flying. It's now flying right above our fence line going east and it stopped and vanished now it's purple look at this the sky I've never seen anything like that here I was born and raised here oh my goodness I don't want it to be too shaky there's that planet again up there that's uh, east are you recording hang on Now it's directly north of our house. I'll try, try to get this up, buddy. My goodness, man. What time is it, babe? About five. It's about 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Almost 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And doesn't that seem late for the sun to be setting? It yeah, van it just vanished, and now let's get on that. Where? It, it vanished. Show me. I don't see it. I had a radar hit, and I uh, it was swinging. It looked like 30 knots. Uh, there was something there. It looked like a, uh, it didn't look like a bird. It looked like no kidding, a rock to me. I kid you negative. I have no idea what it was, but uh, basically just heads up. Try to stay away from 17,000. Keep your nugget on so I have no idea what it was. I'm going to use my radar to see if I can pick this project up again. I picked it up twice. The first time I picked it up, my radar broke a lot, so I thought it was just uh, some kind of bad lock or potential chaff. And I'm going to turn back towards the uh, north just a little bit. Fuel pickup trail. Back, I'm going to uh, start coming back towards the uh, west. I think it was 004 for about 20. I've got it again. It's a 177. Three miles off my nose. It's 17, yeah, 177. I'm flying that way now. I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to get below 300 knots, but uh, back towards you. Dude, I can't tell. Some small, very small black object. I had it at 177. He just flew right. It just flew right over me. From the object appears stationary. Well, I, I could tell because it was just moving too slow. I think it's moving about 30. You're 80 knots. Yeah, my radar showed between 30 and 60, so I have no idea what it's actually doing. But it went from 17, the first time I saw it, to 17.7, so it's not falling. I don't think it was a bird. Better walk in the photo again. I'll be able to chase him. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Put jelly as well in there, it's never... Be an expert that he's eating, can you have that? Yeah, jelly and be an expert. Right, well, because we need to get rid of it, so we've got something there. Yeah, it's silver now, see, look, it's glittering in the sun. Put your food soon. Is it your tea sensor? Yeah. I'll go get you a bib in a minute. Is there a ready to feed? 
just well, them out. Put it for five minutes, put three hours, so it's going to give it an hour at six. Well, did you give it early? Did you give it in? Yeah, yeah give the next one in. Yeah, and then we can give it. Now, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, look, still, it's shining, so. Oh, even if it's shining, it's still shining. 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 CTV News at 6 with Joe Perkins. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. We begin in the skies above Vancouver Island. In the past week, there have been multiple reports of strange flying objects darting across the horizon above Victoria. On Friday, a meteor streaked across BC, working its way down into Washington State. But it's what else was in the sky that night that has many curious, including a prominent UFO researcher who says he's now on the case. CTV's Gord Kerbis has the story. A meteor tracking website shows the January 11th reports of people sighting a fiery object in the sky traveling from BC towards Washington state. But it seems that a meteor may not have been the only thing in the sky at that time. There are definitely some odd stuff took place on the 11th and it took place on the island and in Victoria area around, around there and definitely in the lower mainland. Brian Vike is a UFO investigator based in Houston, British Columbia. That's right, the other Houston. His blog, The Vike Factor, is now filled with sightings from the 11th of strange lights and a triangular-shaped object the size of a school bus over Vancouver Island. A woman had taken her uh, children to school. She stopped. Uh, this is after a 6.30 meteor sighting. She had looked up a flash of the sky again, bang, here comes this solid object, triangular in shape, three orange balls at each of the points. She watched it move along, it came to a hover, and then bang, all the three balls of light went into the center, and bang, this thing was gone. I looked up in the sky and I saw just this light coming over. It doesn't look like it's from Earth, it looks like it's from somewhere else. We've spoken with Vancouver Islanders before about their strange sightings, and Vike has looked into many of them as well. He's been investigating UFO sightings across Canada with a keen interest in his home province. What are you? He was recently sent this video of a strange flying object over the lower mainland shot with a night vision camera. And he's got objects doing all kinds of weird things in the sky at night and everything, and this is on a tripod steady and everything, so it's got some weird stuff. Since starting, Vike has looked into more than 11,000 reports and says 90% of them can be explained. Usually people seeing light reflected off the International Space Station and Chinese lanterns or search and rescue flares are often mistaken for more mysterious objects. But every once in a while reports jump out at them, like this 2010 sighting by a woman near Campbell River. This thing actually rose up from the, from the ground, hovered a little bit and then came towards her vehicle. By this time she's kind of, you know, getting a little excited and freaking out. And it went right over top of her vehicle and it was another triangle. Bike says 2013 is already starting off with an incredible number of reports. Anyone seeing strange objects is invited to contact him through British Columbia UFOs.blogspot.ca. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.